At this point, we're going to pretend that we've built out our form in its entirety, and all that's left is to create our option list and assign them to this form. So the next step is to click where it says option list on the top right hand corner next to our forms button. Once we click the option list button, we're brought to our table view. For this example, we're going to create a new option list. So we're going to do this by clicking the button in the top right hand corner. We're going to put in a list name. Let's go ahead and click the create button. And once in here, we are brought to our option list creation page. At the very top, you'll see that we have additional menu options. And if we start from the left, you'll see an up arrow. Uh, by clicking the upload button, we're able to either copy and paste or raw text to be used for our option list, or we can upload a CSV file. Make sure you download the example if you're planning on using the CSV upload. Besides having the ability to upload option lists with this interface, you also have the option to download option lists. These are the two key differences from the classic form builder. So I'll just add some quick text here. Once I'm done with my list, of course I need to click the check mark and make sure I save this list. Upon saving the list, the next thing I can do from this view is that I can actually assign this newly created option list to an element with the form. To do this, I click the icon next to the delete option list button and I search for the form that I added this, which was my home inspection. And I see the three option lists that I created previously. So I'll go ahead and click, select home two and click assign. At this point, we've gone through a high level overview of the form builder. So I wanna make sure you're aware of all the different support options that are made available to you. The first one that I wanna make sure that you see is located at the bottom right hand corner of your screen and it says show me how. Other ways that you can get support is through our customer success center, Xerion Academy, or by attending some of our webinars. If you go to xerionsoftware.com, you click where it says resources, we have additional support tools such as our blog, our community support, our customer success center help desk, our certification sessions, as well as our webinars. Be sure to check out all these resources and more for the support that you may need. If you ever need anything, we're always here for you and ready to help.